Okay, hello everyone. Uh, so today we're back with lesson two in Keynote. In this lesson, we're going to learn about a very cool feature that I really like to use, which is a master slide. So a master slide, basically, as you can see, this presentation that I have opened that ha uh, has two slides. Uh, the first slide is going to be only for information and let you know why we're using a master slide. And the second slide, we are going to apply all the changes that we're learning today. So why are we going to learn about it? Because it saves you time and using a master slide can be an easy way to adjust the look of an existing theme or to make changes to all slides in your presentation in a very short time. Let's start with it. Okay, so I have this blank slide completely. So let's say that you are creating or making a presentation uh, that contains 20 slides. It's going to be very time consuming to go uh, to every slide, change the font, change the background color and change the theme uh, slide by slide. So master slide will help you to set a specific theme and design for the specific layout of the slide and then you can apply it easily with one mouse click or with one tap on your screen. Let's start. So I'm going to click on the brush as you can see. I will find master. This is the master slide. This means that this is the main slide of my presentation and then I have a background. I have title body. I'm not going to use all of these features. I'm going just right down to edit master slide. Just click on edit master slide. This window will open for you. As you can see on the left, you will find all the different layouts uh, that are built in in Keynote. So you have the photo horizontal, you have the title with bullets and photo, uh, you have the title top. So these are what different layouts, okay? So you choose what layout you want to change and then you will be able to apply this cha these changes for every single slide you're going to create. So I'm choosing uh, title and bullets, okay? So I'll start with the title. I want to change the title over here. So I just click one tab and then again to that magic brush that I have. I have style, I have text, I have a range. So I'm starting with uh, style, let's say. I want to choose um, a fill for my background. So I think this is cool, okay? Then going back, then I'm moving back to the text. Uh, I'll change the text that I have. Um, let's say this one. This one is fine. Okay. As you can see, the changes are immediately um, are applied in front of you. I think the size of that is small, so I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. That sounds good. And the text color. I will make it a yellow, red, no, this one is cool, okay. So basically, mm -hmm. back, in, back to the text, these are, I'll make it bold as well, so this is fine for me. I'll click on the brush again. So now I have changed the title, background, text color, font and size. I'll go back to the second part which is the body so the body I want to change the background color I want to change the uh, the text color everything over here one more time back to the brush uh, choose the style you want this one maybe this one this one just choose whatever makes sense for you I'll choose this one so we can see the changes immediately okay and then um, okay and then I'll change the color so I'll have a brighter color uh, maybe this one yeah this one is fine okay uh, do I need to make it a little bit big it's only about uh, it's about only your preferences or your choices do you want bullets yes or no if none images so just choose whatever makes you happy I'll choose this one okay and 
I will change the background into something yellowish now then just if you want to change it just go back on the left top so I'm going back here the fill okay that's that's really nice okay so I made all these changes I'll click one more time on the brush now the changes for this slide are ready now what's gonna happen whenever you choose the title and bullets layout it's going to look the same every single time so I'm done so I'll click on done okay now if I want to add a slide I want to add title and bullets and here you go it's with all the changes that you made let's say my name is May okay I love keynote so you don't need to make any other changes if you want to add the slide one more time so just one more click one more tap and there you go you have made the changes easily and simply and you can use them in every single slide so you don't have to go back and change 20 or 30 slides you can make it only one time then apply it all the time i hope that you like this feature i hope that you enjoyed it and i'm going to make another video so just stay uh stay tuned as they say to watch the other video about changing the background into something else have a good day